Hey, good morning. My name is Josh. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to brew the new pink for bone today. Uh, I'm already set up here. I've got my water preheated to 208 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got 20 grams of coffee weighed out, and we're just going to go ahead and get into the recipe here. I've got my barata set up on a 17 grind, and uh, let's do it. I've already got my coffee ground up here. I'm just going to go ahead and pre-wet the filter just so we can get it nice and clean and pre-warm the dripper. Just like that. Okay, something cool about these origami drippers is that you can use Kalita papers or V60 papers. Today we're using the Kalita papers just so we can get a little more sweetness out of this coffee. I'm going to go ahead and dump this out right now. get into it. This is going to be cash money right here. Come on in. Like I said, I've already got my water preheated to 208. Let's get in here and tear this, set this up. All right. And we are ready to go. We're going to start with a 50 gram bloom uh, up to 40 seconds and then we'll, uh, we'll just go from there. I'll keep you guys updated. We're going to pour up to 50 grams. Give it a little swirl. And we'll let it sit until 40 seconds. Uh, something cool uh, about this coffee is it's from one of our friends down in Colombia, in the Quindío region of Colombia, Jose Geraldo, uh, good friend of ours. Shout out to Jose. Uh, Waiting about five more seconds on this bloom, and then we're going to pour up to 175 grams right about here. And I'm going to make sure you're getting everything in there nice and incorporated. Wet everything up. There it is. Perfect. We're going to let that sit for another 30 seconds. Uh, this coffee has like a little bit of uh, sweetness in the back, in the middle, it's pretty fruity at the front. I'm um, really excited for you guys to get to try this. Uh, it'll be out soon. So we'll let this sit until uh, minute 30, and then we're gonna go ahead and just finish our brew. Uh, it's super easy, just three pours for you guys. Uh, I've got about 10 seconds left on here, so we'll make sure the water's at the right temperature. Still ready to go. So we got about 125 grams left on our pour. We'll just go right in here. And on this last pour, you want to make sure that you're getting the edges. You just want to make sure you're getting those fines down in the bottom. Make sure you're getting as much flavor out of this as possible. We got about 100 grams left. And perfect. We've got some notes on these, like we've got some uh, melon coming through, a little bit of honeydew. Uh, it's very clean. It's a very clean mouthfeel. Um, I think you guys will like this a lot. So, we're up to 300 grams. We want this to uh, end the brew around three minutes is kind of ideal. Um, obviously, as long as you're like in that neighborhood, it's gonna be good. It's a good coffee uh, and it'll be forgiving. So anything you brew, it's gonna taste great, but this is where we've found we get the most flavor out of it. You just kind of want to let it sit, let it go until about three minutes. Uh, again, we're at 300 grams. Uh, we're all done. Three pours, super easy. So uh, you're welcome. It'll be fun.